If many of you aren't using Unreal Engine 5.4, you might want to download it now with this game animation sample that Unreal Engine or Epic Games has released up onto the public. Now I took the liberty of downloading this and it's about a little over 5 gigs and it gives you over 500 triple A animations for your video game. So if you're making a video game, you can have these animations like the jump, run, and you can you can connect them to your character or mannequin. So I decided to say, "Hey, let me download this game." Well, let me download this sample pack and see what it has. So, let's play. Okay, great. Before, it took a while to load up, so I'll see. Okay, here we go. Alright, so you're starting off right now as your mannequin. I don't know the name of this mannequin. I actually knew the name, but it's uh, if you can tell me in the comment section what this mannequin's from. Alright, so let me see what we got here. Let me step on it and it turns. Okay, so I guess it has commands where you step on it and you cannot change the level colors, which is nice. And then we put it in color. It's okay. Let's see what we have here. Game animation widget. Oh, okay. So this pops up right here. Let's see. All right, so we can change the, uh, the mannequin. Got a couple of different mannequin choices. I'm sure you can put your own mannequins here if they gave you your own. These are probably just retargeted animations from the actual animations that it comes with. And you can retarget it onto your character. So let's see what they got. Regular non-texture guy. They got three mannequins that you can control at the same time. <laughs> and then you just got the one mannequin again. I'd like to see how on earth you control three mannequins. Let me just... Oh, oops. Let me just... Uh, now, how I'm going to get to this widget, I guess I'm going to have to escape. I guess when you click on the widget, let me just uh, move this over to my other screen. All right, let's, try, let's start again. This time I won't click on the widget. <laughs> because last time... Oh, there we go. All right, so let's get back into business. So you know what? Without wasting any more time, let's see if we can pull this off with three mannequins. The mannequin in the middle is the one that's really controlling the party here. I guess it's just telling you how, showing you how it looks with all the mannequins running around. Now, I'm going to be real with all of you. I mean, oh, look at all the step backwards. The animations look pretty good. These are free animations that you could put on your own character to use for whatever project you want to use. So, let's go to Obstacle Course 2. Alright, here we go. Run jump and I messed that up already I put three mannequins up here cuz you know what why not what the hell let's go to this course right here ooh whoa rat rat whoa and these are all mannequins that you can put on these are all animations that you can put on your own character so I'm going to be real with you. If you know me, and I've been saying all the time, I'm using Unreal Engine for virtual production. More production-wise cinema scenes, cut scenes, you know, just uh, video. Not really for video games. So you're saying to yourself, oh, you know what, I may not use this because I'm not making video games. But you're wrong. You're dead wrong. <laughs> So there's a couple of animations that's not available. I think crouching is one of them and sprinting. I guess I don't know why they disable that. But whatever. I don't care. Let's go one more course and I'll show you what I really came here for, to be honest. Because <laughs> uh, there's something as soon as I saw this, I said, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, damn good. Let me see. What? They put me back here? <gasps> you son of a... Mm. Anyway, let's go back to the controls real quick. I'm just oh, I'm just sitting here goofing off. I'm glad you guys are, uh, just so you can see what I'm doing, and I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me. Um, control, widget control. I'm, I'm almost afraid to get back on here. All right, so let me move this over real quick. So, okay, I guess whatever's in red is not allowed anymore, or not allowed yet. 
Oh, until 5.5? What does that mean? Unreal Engine 5.5? Damn, Unreal. You guys just keep coming out with a whole bunch of new stuff, and I can't keep up with you. I'm sure the people that's using Unreal Engine 5.0 to 5.3, they're like, damn, I got to download a whole brand new engine? You sure do. So I just want to see what this readme information is. I haven't really played around with it, but eh, you can look at that later. What I really came here for, let me just escape real quick. What I really came here for, the animations, and I actually found out where they are. They're in content characters, UEFN underscore mannequins, and then the animations. So if I'm correct, there's over 500 animations. you like, okay, so I'm actually in the project itself. And this is the level it comes with. So this is just a project on its own. But you say to yourself, which I said, I said, hey, you know what? I would like to take these animations and I would like to use them on my characters and my meta humans and for whatever I want to use them for, for video production. So get your butt back in here. Get them characters. Oh, damn it. I think I lost my space. Okay, content. <laughs> oh, God. Um, where did I go? Yeah, here we go almost lost it so what you do is that you go to uefn underscore mannequins and then you click on that and then you're in the animations now what i did is that i just right clicked here's all the animations in here just in case you'll see the animations and they'll probably play when you click on them i don't know why that's doing that but let me see if i can find one here that will actually play i guess these are all like stills because they're playing and i don't see nothing playing oh there we go oh he's crouching I thought crouching was available wasn't available. I guess it wasn't available in the level, the sample, but it's uh it's it's you crouching, he crouching right now. I see him. I mean bear witness to him crouching. But these are the animations here. So what I wanna do is I just wanna take these animations and put them in my own projects. So go into the animations folder where well, I was going to UEFN underscore anim um, mannequin and then right click the animations folder and then migrate it over click the migrate button and it's going to ask you hey well um i don't want to save it but migrate and look it's going to select everything under that hierarchy over 500 over 500 triple a type of animations and trust me if you had to manually you know do all these animations you'll be here forever so then you can just migrate it <clears throat> i already migrated mine over and um excuse me for a minute. yeah i had to mute that for a minute yeah so i already migrated all my animations over and i gotta tell you i've been using them in some of my uh, on some of my mannequins but it's just too much for me to load that right now because some uh, sometimes unreal engine takes so long to load certain projects but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video, making uh, just doing this course right here. I just went in here for the animations. I don't know what you guys came in here for, but if you're interested in having animations for your characters in your game, there you go. They gave you 500 animations free of charge, so you can't say they ain't give you nothing, and you can't, you, ha you don't have any reasons why you're not animating. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs>